I was driving a shortcut from 29 Palms, California to Albuquerque, New Mexico. 29 Palms is located in the desolate high desert east of LA. The shortcut was all two lane road through total nothingness except for passing through Amboy, California. Amboy is a nearly abandoned town and nearly as far below sea level as Death Valley. So I was driving by myself in the afternoon. I stopped in Amboy and snapped a picture of the city sign just to prove I was there to friends who dared me to take that route to the I-40. I got back in my car and proceeded to drive up the mountain range between Amboy and the I-40. Once I reached the top, I am driving north through a canyon with high grass on both sides of the road. Up ahead, I can see some stuff in the middle of the road. As I approach, I slow down to see a red Pontiac Fiero stop sideways across both lanes. A suitcase with clothes scattered everywhere and two bodies laying face down in the road. A man and a woman. I stop a hundred feet or so away, and the hair on the back of my neck is standing up. It looked too perfect, as if it were staged. An ambush? Was I being paranoid? Something was just wrong. Being a marine, I reach under the seat and pull out a 9mm pistol and chamber around. Getting out of the car seemed unthinkable. It was a horror movie type move. As I scanned the road, I saw a line I could drive. Pass the guy in the road on his left, swerve to the right side of the woman, behind the Fiero, and I'd be on the other side. I dropped it into first gear and punched it and drove the line I planned. I passed the back of the Fiero without hitting it or either of the bodies in the road. I continued forward a couple hundred feet and slowed down so I could breathe and let my heart slow down. As I looked up into the rear view mirror, I saw that the two bodies had gotten up to their knees. And 20 or so people emerged from the tall grass on either side of the road by the car and bodies. At that moment, my right foot smashed the gas pedal to the floor, and I did not let up until I had to slow down for the I-40 East on ramp. I will never know what would have happened to me if I had gotten out of the car to check on the bodies, or stop my car closer to them. Somehow, I do not think it would have been good. Sometimes, real life can be scarier than a movie. My name is Lily, and I'm 16 years old. I live in the countryside with my parents. My parents have a house for rent, which is far from my house, so we don't go there very much. Only when we need to clean up for old tenants or fix something. This story happened two years ago. Two years ago, my parents signed a contract with a man from Turkey. He was supposed to live in the house with his wife but my parents had never seen his wife. He was weird. He hardly said anything. And when my dad came over to fix something, he wanted my dad to leave the house as soon as possible. When he looked at me, I felt terribly uncomfortable. One day, he didn't answer my mother's phone calls, so we decided to go out to the house. And after we got there, it was completely empty, as if nobody lived there. But it was strange, because he had lived there for over a year. He left nothing, and we found the house keys in the kitchen. After three months, we still didn't see what was wrong with him. 
My parents went to the house to clean it up a bit, but when my dad was mowing the lawn, he noticed something was buried under a tree. My dad started digging in that place, and there was a bag of knives, straps, and ropes, and under the bag was a big garbage bag with bones inside. We called the police immediately, and it turned out that it was the bones of the man's wife. We didn't see her because he kept her in the cellar, in a closet. She was there for a year. Unfortunately, the police did not find him, and we never found out what happened to him. After this whole situation, I remembered that I was at the house once and I heard some rustling coming from the basement. I thought it was maybe rats. To this day, I have nightmares that I see the man killing his wife.